Today, 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 we are going to be making the most amazing, creamy Cajun shrimp pasta you have ever had in your life. So easy, so delicious. And guess what? Your boy is about to show you how it's done. Let's not waste time. Time is money, baby. Let's get on to it. We have a pot of boiling hot water right here. Go ahead and pop that top right on off. And we're gonna drop a little bit of salt into that water. You know you gotta season up your water now. And we're gonna be using fettuccine pasta for this recipe. Uh, we're gonna use a probably about three fourths of this box right here. You could use any pasta you're choosing, whether it be spaghetti, penne, uh, whatever pasta you're choosing you could use. But for this one, I want to use that fettuccine. Go ahead and just kind of push these right on into the water. Top it off and you're gonna let this boil until it's al dente. You have directions on the box that tell you the exact cook time, but usually it's about seven-ish minutes or so, depending on what kind of pasta you're using. So let's move on to the next step, which is seasoning up that shrimp, baby. I have a pound of shrimp right here. These are peeled, deveined, and with the tail off, we're gonna just drizzle a little bit of oil onto them and you know we gotta season them up proper. Go ahead and give them a little bit of a mix. And this is our seasoning blend right here. It may look like a lot, but keep in mind, we're gonna use some of this for our sauce. So don't get, you know, intimidated like, dang, that's a whole lot of seasoning. Don't even worry about it, guys. Just go ahead and season up your shrimp proper as I am doing so right here. Go ahead and toss them up and make sure they are well coated up. You know our motto on this channel. It ain't never changed, ain't nothing bland over here, guys. Come on now, stop playing with me. So you want your chicken, ooh, I said chicken. What is going on with me today? You want your shrimp to look something like this, well-coated, all right? I'm, I'm gonna throw a little bit more for good luck because that's just what I do. Go ahead and mix it up. Like I said, that's how you should be looking. Your shrimp should be well-coated up just like this. Ignore the timer. <laughs> that's the timer for my uh, pasta. All right, our pasta is done. I did drain it, set it off to the side. Obviously, you see we have our shrimp well seasoned up. We're moving on. I got my pan here to about a medium high. I drizzle a little bit of oil into the pan and we're gonna drop this shrimp right on in. We're gonna cook that first. So go ahead and just get your shrimp right on in. I know you hear that sizzle. Go ahead and get them in. Once they're in there, obviously move them around, make sure they're laying flat. And we're gonna let it cook for, let's say, three minutes per side, not for long at all. Keep in mind, shrimp, they cook very quickly. The smaller the shrimp are, obviously, the faster they cook. So you do have to put that into consideration. But yeah, just let it do its thing for about three minutes, give it a flip, and I'll see you shortly. It's been about three minutes or so. It is time to flip that shrimp, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. Woo! Looking good, smelling good. That's amazing right there. And excuse a little background noise. I think they're cutting some grass. I got the window open. I always do that when I'm cooking. I like to have the windows open and whatnot. Um, I have the vent fan, but obviously the audio would be 10 times worse having that vent on. So the window is what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? The window, the sliding glass door, everything is open. One thing about me, I don't like, <laughs> I like to cook, but I hate when my house is just like smelling like straight like food when people come over. So I do like to have a little ventilation going on, you feel me? So go ahead and let this sit for another three minutes and then we're gonna remove this and then move on to the next step. All right, now our shrimp are pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from our pan right here. We're gonna set it right on off to the side. There you have it, our beautiful shrimp is out of the pan and we're not gonna erase none of this goodness right here in this pan. You see this right here? This is straight goodness right here. And we're gonna use this uh, while we're cooking our sauce. Do not clean that off. All right, my heat is to about a medium. I tossed in, uh, what is this? Like two and a half to three tablespoons of some unsalted butter. You wanna go ahead and melt that down. All right, to this, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of some minced garlic. Go ahead and mix that around. Let that beautiful aroma hit the air. 
I love me some garlic. After that, we do have some onion. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that into the pan as well. Let that go for a little bit. We got some, oof, we got some red bell pepper going in. Can't forget the tomato. Got some beautiful color going on, guys. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of white wine. Ooh, that's gonna add an amazing flavor right there. Gonna add probably the juice of half a lemon. Get that in the pan. Give that a stir. And then we're gonna add in about two cups of that heavy cream, baby. There we go. Woo! Yes, yes, and yes. Yo, this sauce right here is gonna have so much flavor, guys. You know why? Because we're not even done yet. We're not done yet. Remember that seasoning I said sit off to the side? Go ahead and go ahead and dump some of that in there just like that. Give it a mix. And you definitely wanna, you wanna season to taste, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it might need a little pinch of some salt or whatnot, but that little seasoning blend is gonna add a crap ton of flavor to this right here. So like I said, remember to season the taste, you know what I'm saying? Add a little bit more seasoning in there as needed, a little bit pinch of salt if needed. Taste as you go, guys. That's very important when you're cooking. Always adjust. You want it a little bit more spicy? Add some cayenne pepper to this bad boy. Options are pretty much endless. We are ready to start reincorporating some of those ingredients. I'm gonna add the pasta a little bit at a time. You wanna go ahead and just mix that up. Add a little bit more. Guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be busting. I'm letting you know right now, this is just, this is just, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. I already know how good this is gonna be right here. Look at that. Go ahead and just mix up that fettuccine with that yummy creamy sauce right there. And of course, we are not done yet. We cannot forget the star of the show. We gotta toss that shrimp right in this goodness right here, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Go ahead and mix it up. Ooh. It's on me. <laughs> if you know, you know. How could I forget? How could I forget the freshly chopped Parsley, go ahead and get it in there too. Let's go. Wow. How beautiful is this, guys? Stop playing with your boy. This is just next level amazing right here. Y'all must have thought I was playing, man. Ain't no such thing as too much Parmesan cheese. So we're freshly grating a whole lot more into this pan right here. This is gonna be so so good. The whole family is gonna love this, especially the kids. It is dinner time, baby. Wow. Sheesh. How beautiful is this? I know I keep saying that, but I really mean it. Like, how freaking beautiful is this right here? Stop playing with your boy. Time to plate up, guys. Guys, we are looking good, smelling good. Man, I cannot wait to dig into this right here. Let's not waste time and get right on into it. Look at that, baby. Mmm. Hold on now. Wow, that's bomb. That is so freaking good. Come on now, that, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have my camera lady Rose, or should I say my camera baby Rose, come come take a take a bite out of this. I got they gonna hear your reaction. They ain't gotta see it. Come close, come close. Don't be shy now. Come on, come on. Little bit close. My arms don't go that far. 
<laughs> there you go. What you say about it? What you say about it? That is good. That is what? That's bomb.com, baby. Yes. You guys definitely got to give this a try. 10 out of 10. Wow. This is everything. If you go ahead, go ahead and give this a try. Let me know how you love it. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment down below. Let me know how good it was. Everybody that you know is going to love this dish right here. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You definitely got to rock that notification bell. So when I upload, you know that I upload and you're there to watch these amazing recipes. Give me a like so YouTube knows you're loving the content and I'll be sure to see you all on the next video. Deuces, we gotta finish up this food, baby. So darn good, I'm out.